Hello, my name is Tim Vaughan. I'm a senior scientist in Tanya Stadler's computational evolution group at the ETH Zurich. And I'm going to talk to you today about uh, how to easily simulate trees and populations uh, in Beast 2 using a new, new tool, uh, Remaster. So just uh, to start off, uh, to, to clarify the target audience for this talk, is primarily uh, Beast 2 users, so people are already using Beast 2. Um, and in particular, package or model developers, I think would get a lot out of this. Um, but apart from this, anybody keen on engaging in phylogenomic simulation studies for various purposes, including model exploration or validation. In terms of learning objectives, uh, by the end of this presentation, uh, you should understand roughly, and roughly, not, not, not in detail, but roughly what Remaster is, how it relates to an earlier package master, uh, how to design and specify phylogenomic, phylogenomic models for Remaster, how to use these models to simulate population trajectories and trees, and of course, where to go for further information. So firstly, what is Remaster and what does it do? Uh, the first thing you need to know about it is that it's a Beast 2 package. So it's a package that, that runs on another piece of software known as Beast 2 that uh, is a more general purpose uh, phylogenetic and phylogenomic inference software platform. In terms of remaster itself, the idea is that uh, you conceptualize some model. I'll get into the details of this later on. Uh, and uh, using remaster, you can generate uh, simulations, uh, simulated realizations of population dynamics through time and the trees that relate sampled individuals from those populations. In terms of how this actually works, uh, practically you specify a model using an XML file syntax. This model is passed to Remaster and Beast and uh, the software produces output files that, that constitute the, the output of the, the simulations. To install and run Remaster, it's quite, quite simple. Uh, you need Beast 2 installed. And once you have Beast 2 installed, you, you just need to install the Remaster package in the same way that you want to install other uh, Beast 2 packages. Remaster XMLs, simply Beast 2 XML. So, so this is the, the format for analyses that you run uh, in Beast. And the way you, you run these analyses or run these simulations is to, to just load these XMLs into Beast as usual. Just for context and the reason for the name, Remaster is a complete rewrite of an earlier package uh, that was developed and published in 2013 known as Master. Um, it is similar in many ways, but the original package uh, had several problems that Remaster aims to address. Uh, in particular, tree simulation was very slow and memory intensive. Uh, common sampling schemes that are used in birth death models uh, were difficult to configure. Coalescent model simulations were very awkward to set up. And overall, the general integration with the rest of Beast was very, very poor. So Remaster aims to, to solve these problems. Now we're going to dive into model specification, what a Remaster model actually represents. So models in Remaster consist of two primary components. Firstly, one or more populations of individuals. So here we have two populations of individuals uh, labeled A and B. If you want to sample trees, you additionally need an, uh, one more sample population. In addition to these uh, populations, uh, one needs to specify uh, one or more reactions that indicate how groups of individuals are updated uh, over the course of the dynamics to produce population trajectories and trees. In order to actually simulate trees, though, uh, the reactions on their own are not enough. One also has to specify the parent-child relationships between individual reactants on one hand and the products of a, of a given reaction. For birth death trees, an additional set of reactions are necessary that produce samples. Uh, these correspond to tips in the simulated trees. 
just an overview of what an XML input file for a remaster simulation would look like. Uh, this this is uh, this is one such uh, XML input file. I'm not going to go into the details, but what you can see just uh, roughly is that uh, we have these population specifications and we have these reaction specifications right in the file. So it is uh, mirroring this this conceptual overview that I gave on the previous slide. Okay, so that's that's all in terms of background. For the worked examples, we're going to just look at two examples of applying remaster to the simulation of, of different kinds of models. Firstly, I'll look at a, a model that is common in epidemiology, namely the susceptible exposed infectious and removed model, which is a classic four compartment uh, model. So we, we define uh, in, in terms of our remaster model, we define four populations, S, E, I, and R, to correspond to each of these four compartments. And to actually model the start of an outbreak, we need to define the initial population sizes. So we'd set these to something like uh, this, this uh, vector here, where um, the, the initial number of S is N minus one, where N is some total number of individuals, and the number of initially exposed individuals is just one and the, the number in the other compartments is just zero. The reactions that would define an SEIR model in Remaster uh, would be as follows. So here we can see just for this first reaction, we've got an infection uh, where an infected individual and a susceptible inter individual interact uh, to produce one more exposed individual. These exposed individuals eventually become infectious, and those infectious individuals are eventually removed. All of these at various rates, and these these rates, beta, alpha, gamma, must be chosen for the simulation. You need numerical values for these, of course. The simulation XML for this SEIR model looks or could look like this. Uh, so again, we see that we have these four uh, population elements here, defining the populations and their initial. Uh, sizes, and we also have these three reactions that we talked about. And finally, we also have this output um, specification that says we're going to write these trajectories to this output.traj file. This output file, once the analysis is actually run, can be read directly into R and plotted with something like ggplot to produce uh, this kind of graphic where we can see the dynamics of each of these four uh, compartments over time. What we're seeing here is actually several realizations uh, of, of this process independently produced by Remaster. Moving on to the second example. So the fossilized birth death model is a model from um, macroevolution, and it's used to describe the appearance of fossils on species tree lineages sampled at the present. So in terms of, of the, the simplest uh, incarnation of this model, we define one population. Here, we're just going to label it X to represent all species, including unobserved species. Um, and of course, we have to define some initial population size for this. And here, we're just going to say one at some point in the, in the past. We also have a, a sample population to represent uh, samples. So they could be present day species or fossils. The reactions here, we're going to need a speciation reaction, an extinction reaction, and this sampling reaction. And you can see this sampling reaction doesn't actually remove individuals from the pool, but uh, rather just adds a new sample at a particular time. And in addition to these, we use a punctual reaction. This is remasters notation or, or nomenclature for a reaction that occurs at a particular time. So this occurs only at the present and produces uh, the present day samples. So this is what the XML um, depiction of this model might look like. Again, we see exactly the same things we saw on the previous slide. The only difference here with the trajectory simulation in the last example is that we've wrapped the whole uh, simulation element in this simulated tree um, element. And we're also outputting a tree file rather than a trajectory file. So once that's run, uh, we get this tree file. We can load that into IC tree or fig tree or your favorite tree uh, visualization tool. And, um, and we can see 
uh, the outcome of the simulation. We can see that we have some samples, some tips that are, are appearing through time, and these dots correspond to samples that are, are collected uh, through time as well. And then we have all of our samples at the present. So just uh, some additional things. Firstly, I haven't until now mentioned coalescent simulations. Remaster handles coalescent models uh, similarly to, to the way we've discussed for birth death models. But here, populations are, instead of just an initial population size, they're deterministic uh, parametric functions of time. And the reactions that one must specify govern how tree lineages coalesce and migrate backward in time rather than how the, the process evolves forward in time. In addition, uh, I mentioned that integration with Beast 2 was something that uh, Master lacked. Um, Remaster really is tightly integrated with the rest of Beast. A lot of this is only going to make sense if, if you're familiar already with Beast. Um, but if you are, this is important. So trees are standard Beast tree objects, the, the simulated trees, that is. Remaster is using standard logger objects to produce the output. It uses real parameter or function objects to define birth death populations. And it uses uh, Beast standard population function objects uh, to define coalescent populations. And all of the inputs defining numerical quantities, such as rates, times, or probabilities, or numbers, expect just these generic function inputs. And all of this means that it's possible to use Remaster to do things like initialize MCMC chains or simulate sequence data or produce single combined XML simulation studies uh, that combine both a simulation phase and uh, an inference phase using Beast's um, Markov chain Monte Carlo mechanism. So that's the end of the very rough overview I wanted to give. For further information, you, you should visit uh, this website. The URL is given on the screen here. This is a comprehensive usage manual, and uh, this includes many, many examples, many more than I've presented here. So please read through that and, and look there for further information if you're interested in Remaster. Thank you.